I'm here at Arby's to try out the new big game burger. Deer, elk, cow? Let's try it out. Hello, I have a pickup order for Zach. Thanks. Today we're checking out Arby's Big Game Burger. Got it right here. We'll just jump right into it. The patty is made with a blend of 34% venison, 33% elk, and 33% ground beef. I, I can tell just, just by the looks of it, it does look very different. It's gonna be topped with crispy onions, sweet and garlic dill pickles, Swiss cheeses. I assume there's more than one piece of Swiss cheese on here because it says cheeses, and a dark cherry steak sauce, which you are seeing a lot of if you can see it. You're seeing quite a bit of it on here. And this is all on a toasted brioche bun. Speaking about game meat, aim your sights on the like button down below. It really helps out the channel. The weird thing about Arby's, of course, having burgers in the, on their menu is that their kitchens aren't even equipped with griddles or like a grill. They use a sous vide preparation for the burger. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> that technique is when they place food in a vacuum sealed bag and it's heated to a precise temperature and a water bath. I'll throw up some screenshots or visuals here so you can kind of see what, what's going on. This is not Arby's you know, specific picture here. And then uh, this is all done, I'm assuming at some sort of food plant. Uh, it's then shipped to the stores, so then it's fried at the end. This all sounds really appetizing, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, the Big Game Burger is 718 calories. The price for the Big Game Burger a la carte is $9.99. Ah, seriously, this is one expensive burger. Let me tell you, <laughs> the combo is $14.69. Wow, this has got to be one of the most expensive combos out there. The combo comes with the big game burger, of course, uh, a medium curly or crinkle fry, and then a medium soft drink. I got uh, curly fries and a Dr. Pepper. All right, it's time for some fast food news. Take it away, Jack. Jack coming to you live from Arby's here. In celebration of the Big Game Burger, Arby's hosted a one-day, one-of-a-kind adventure over in a unidentified Colorado summit. It was called the Arby's Hike Through. Drive through, hike through. <laughs> See what you did there, Arby's. The event was a four-mile hike to a special hike through window pop-up restaurant there in the Colorado mountains. Participants were able to celebrate with a free Big Game uh, Burger. A, a Big Game Burger? Uh, editor, was was this story fact-checked or what? I'm not quite sure. I don't know what's going on around here. Anyways, that's all for now. Back to you, Zach. Yeah, so that was a thing, right? <laughs> and now it's time to go in with a close-up cam. Here is the big game burger. This thing has a ton of cheese on it, and you can see there's that red wine sauce all over this thing. Take the top off if I can, if I dare. Okay. We're seeing the crispy onions here, some more red wine sauce, and the Swiss cheese. Honestly, it looks like it might just be one piece of Swiss cheese. Uh, very minimal crispy onions. I only have like three that I'm counting here. All right. All right, time to get a close-up of the bun here, of the patty. Yeah, wow. This thing looks very different than any burger I've had in the past before. And do I dare take the bottom patty off? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Okay. A lot of red sauce, again, <laughs> I keep saying that, there is quite a bit of red sauce on there. If you want more food reviews, hit the subscribe button. You can see the cheese is just coming out of this thing. Man, I can really smell that red sauce. It's coming through, it's really strong. I can't tell if it's the burger or the red sauce. Will the big game burger get me to ring that Arby's bell? Let's go in for the attack. Um, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> this, is, this is probably the first time I'm kind of stumped on a, on a burger here, but not really sure what to think about it. I'll uh, just get straight into what I thought was good and what I thought was bad. So the good, you know, it's cooked well. Uh, you know, I, I was, uh, this is my first time having a burger at Arby's. You know, it's cooked, it's not too dry or like a, like a hockey puck or anything at least. It's, it's a really thick burger, as you can see. Yeah, it's, um, it's okay. You know, it was cooked well, uh, you know, they prepared it right as I went through the drive through there. The Swiss is nice, the, the onions pretty tasty too. The pickles are good as well. Now to go over the bad, that red sauce, 
you could take it or leave it. it it doesn't really add much in my opinion to this uh burger overall there's not a lot of crispy onions on there really was hoping for some more and i think that would have added a little bit more to this burger the burger itself i'm not really ga getting much of a gamey taste from it if you gave it to me alongside another burger from another fast food establishment i wouldn't even be able to tell you if this was ground beef or if this is venison or elk anything like that. I tried to go in for one extra bite than I normally do and I just couldn't really tell the difference there. Yeah, it's supposed to be really gamey or like it's, it's supposed to be the big game burger, right? So I was expecting to really taste some more game, more earthy from the uh, the venison or elk. Didn't really get that. You know, I was kind of hoping this would really be a different type of burger, but in the end it's just kind of a, it's a burger with some tasteless red sauce. Yeah, just nothing that stands out to me on this burger in particular. So it's time to go in for the rating here. Yeah, um, this burger hasn't lived up to its big game burger title, <laughs> in my opinion. So I'm gonna rate this a 4.0. You know, I just, there's nothing really too great going on with this burger. The flavors on this thing are mediocre to say the least. Overall, I just don't find myself wanting to go back to pick up another one of these. Yeah, so Zach Attack sign off and I'll see you on the next one.